What's up, YouTube PPD peeps? It is your buddy Chopadong, and we're going to do a little NBA action today. You can see it here in the background. We're going to cover FanDuel since we did DraftKings yesterday, kind of alternate back and forth, give you a little player pool, talk a little bit through the slate, see if we can't uh, hit on some things that our coaches inside DFS Army are going to talk about later today. I wanted to show you the winning first because every single day I can brag about it on Twitter all I want. I can show you guys the proof, but I, to me, seeing is believing, and a lot of people question, oh, what will I really get if I join DFSArmy.com, blah, 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 blah. Well, you're going to get content, tools, and coaching that's going to help you join these winners every flipping day. Do we cash every day? No, but people are winning every single day. A lot of them go on hot streaks. A lot of them have improved their games dramatically. So I encourage you to dive down into the comments section, DFSArmy.com. Use coupon code CHOP, C-H-O-P, for that 20% off discount. Jump on in and join us, man. We can help you become a better player as well. And we do it by little videos like this, articles that we've got. We've got six articles rolling out today, coaching, everything going from top to bottom, A to Z, and every single sport covered. Uh, if you like these videos, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell, and we will get more of these videos out to you. Of course, comment. Goodness, comment. I'll probably respond. Hell, ask me a question for sure. Um, winners yesterday, really, really simple. Uh, two in, 500 out. Awesome coaches guide us in the right direction. You bet your ass we do. Uh, 360, but it's to beat the CEO. That's really what it was. Took him on in head-to-head -head and beat him. 750 for the old CG here. Another 750. And this big whopping min cash at 25 cent into a quarter is really to show you the 59 in, 880 out. Pretty good day. That's one of our contributors in CG. And then, of course, Team Bruce on a roll lately, 235 in, 1,300 out. We can go back over the previous day, 50 into 150. 198 into, what is that, 625. Bunch of winning right there. And MME where everything cashed. 20 entry max, all 20 cashed. Guys, it is not rocket science. Yeah, we give credit where credit's due, and that's great. But... It just isn't rocket science when you've got the help and the support of the teammates behind you uh, pushing you in the right direction. So let's dive in. We've already sorted the and one player pool. We'll click off onto our point guards. And we'll see that the top five or six. We'll skip. We'll include him, but we'll put a big Q next to him, being that he lit up orange in the research station. If you need a link to the research station, I'll probably throw that in the comment section as well. Uh, Kemba Walker, Ricky Rubio, Steph Curry, Chris Dunn, Jamal Murray, CP3. These guys are on the borderline looking in. If you scroll over here and you sorted by value, you would find names like Frank Jackson, who turd trapped everybody uh, with like nine points last time out. So the ownership would probably be down on him. If he's still getting the minutes and he's still got the chance to, to earn some points and get you 20 points and be one of your drop score candidates, doesn't hurt you if he only scores nine points if he's your drop. Uh, Bryn Forbes looking like some value today as well down here. Uh, Patty Mills. Looking like some value today. These are things to, to assess as the day goes on, and we follow our coaches and we follow our news. If I scrolled over and showed you the hot or not, you'd see names like Tim Frazier, Nito, uh, where's old Harrison here, uh, Shaquille Harrison. But the, the value, the V goes next to Chris Dunn for also bringing decent value. It goes next to Jamal Murray, even on the Q, for bringing value. And the H goes next to Kemba Walker up here. 4.8 value projected and running hot. Might be testing that ceiling. Might be wanting to jack that uh, projection up a little bit. And we might be looking at Kemba Walker and put a put a pin in uh, put a pin in the Chris Dunn name as well. We'll come back to that one. Shooting guards, James Harden. I have never seen an and one score that like that. 31.9. Never seen it. Anthony Davis. Never. I've never seen it out of anybody. That is something sick. If Chris Paul was out, he'd be all in. But with Chris Paul in, it depends on what you think Chris Paul is going to do. Now, your roster on both. I mean, th those are things that you can play with in tournaments or cash games or whatever. At you know, fourteen thousand on Fanduel, he's hard to swallow. Even though he's more, he's less to your cap. People are going to say fourteen is unbearable on Fanduel, but I can play him on DraftKings eh, eh. because he's one point nine percent less of your cap on Fanduel than he is DraftKings. Therefore, he's actually costing you more on DraftKings. Wonder how many people will pick up on that one. But James Harden dominates the and one player pool today. Donovan Mitchell, Zach Levine, uh, Drew Holiday, Eric Gordon with the Q, and Buddy Heald comes in uh, six, so we'll include him in the list. When I come over here to the value numbers, you know, I'm going to see names 
like he is gonna should get the value, should get the 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 V, but he wasn't one of the top values on the slate. That's Eric Gordon I'm looking at. That's why Eric Gordon's got the V. Uh, Booker's got the V. Not Devin Booker. What am I looking at? Booker was running hot. It's Eric Gordon and Levine that get the V. That's what it is. I can't read my own chicken scratch on my own notepad over here to the left. The other value guys, Bellinelli, Selden, and uh, and Shumpert. Shumpert's pulling. Uh, Bellinelli's pulling. The 6.5 bears watching at 32 minutes and 27 points. If that projection bears out to be true, most definitely worth looking at because at 4,300, there's outside shot. He's your drop score too. So if you ran him with a Frank Jackson, Bellinelli should pan out. Frank Jackson might not. You might look for a cheaper guy, maybe not an Austin Rivers, but you might look for a cheaper guy that has some of the upside today as well. But Bellinelli should definitely be on the shorter list. Nobody really registered as uh, quote-unquote hot. I mean, you can see it's a pretty deep position. We've got a couple we can pick from that are registering the value scale as well as the end one. Nobody's really registering hot, though. Um where we got uh, McRae, Morris, uh, Devin Booker, 8,400 for hot, but on the questionable list is going to be an interesting interesting spot heading into Utah, which is a little bit slower-paced game traditionally. Don't know. Might pass on that one. Uh, Giannis, Kevin Durant, Joe Ingles, Jay Crowder, Harrison Barnes. I like seeing these guys with big and one matchups when they're a little bit cheaper because then they can start hitting the value pole, but they, they're not hitting it today. It's even down here lower, like your Bertrands. Uh, 5.2 at Otto Porter. A little bit of uh, Will Barton at 5.2. Sorry, 5.1 and Rudy Gay. These are your value guys. Nobody really du duplicated here. When I went over to the hot list, and I'll show you this one. When I sorted off by the hot list, you see some guys getting 5, some guys getting 7, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's great for them. And then I noticed that even Giannis registered on the hot list you know, but when you look at that, it's only 1.6. It's really not much. Well, is it? Because if we're looking at 66 points and a 57.3 game average and the three games above the 10 game, it's something that we need to look at. It's not something telling me, oh, he's running hot, got a roster him everywhere. But what it made me do was look a little bit deeper. You know, the minutes are obviously the same. The points are basically the same. But watch over here. 51 points last time out against Washington's okay, but look at the 62.2 last three out. Running pretty good. Minutes are obviously secure in the same. Three, point, uh, three game average is 57, and he goes into a team he usually plays well against. That's a sign that today could be a Giannis day. Yesterday wasn't. Are we on back-to-back -back with Giannis? Nope, two days, uh, one day rest. He did have a rest day, but on the previous slate, he didn't come out so hot. But this might be an indicator tonight. He plays a team he's comfortable with. And their ADVP is terrible, so a lot of people might be off of this. What I'm telling you, I'm not calling the shot. I'm not saying roster Giannis everywhere, but I'm saying in GPPs, do not be surprised if he's in the winning lineup tonight. We know he can do it, you know, 70-point ceiling or whatnot. And his floor is fairly secure as well. It's just something to point out. Looking at the power forwards, Derek Favors, uh, Mark Cannon, another Chicago guy, right? Uh, Randall, Millsap, draw the cue. Portis, Bagley, Farid would round out your top five healthy guys. And when you look over here, uh, Favors looks like he's just about to pull the value. In fact, he did hit the value list. That's a good sign when your top and one matchup also hits the value list. Come down here looking not a lot of value at power forward tonight. So we might have to be dipping down into these 4.9 guys like Paul Millsap. 4.8 guys like P.J. Tucker. Even though I don't think I'm really into roster and P.J. Tucker. I'm just looking at a few of these guys. This might be another one where you run over here and look for who's hot. And you see a 12-pointer in Diallo. You see 13 points in Jeff Green. You see 17. These are possible role changes. Um, let's cross-check those with minutes. Diallo's getting more minutes. Dwight Powell. No, that's not Dwight Powell. It's Kendrick Williams getting more minutes. And this is a one-game 34, but it's a three-game 34. Those minutes are fairly secure over the recent. As long as the news doesn't change, which bumps him out of favor, then he's still a good, solid $5,400 value play because he's bringing better than that. If he's bringing, where's Diallo again? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Or Kendrick Williams, where'd you go? 
33 at 5,400, that's 6x. It's good solid value. That's the kind of plays that we need to get good at spotting. That's the kind of plays that this spreadsheet will help you spot in what? I mean, I've covered all of the positions so far. We're only 10 minutes in. 36 minutes, 29.5 projected. I might take him up to a 33 or a 34 in our uh, domination station optimizer tonight and get him pulling into a lot of different lineups tonight because it just looks like a solid spot. The guys that you're also looking for are going to be uh, – where'd old Bagley go? There's Bagley. Not a great matchup, but close, close to the top, right? Made the list because of the questionable guys. Not great value, but in the top at the position tonight because the position is weak. And he was running hot earlier too. So he's kind of a core play in that hot value and matchup. That's kind of a three-category play tonight. And that would be one that at 6,800 I might be looking at. I might be looking at him. Derek Favors is definitely in play. Mark Cannon, I might take the $1,000 savings. Julius Randle, Paul Millsap, if he's questionable, might pass up on playing hurt. Might, instead of Bobby Portis, might take a Bagley because Bagley's hitting the value and the hot. Portis is only hitting the hot. His value is a little bit lower at the 4.4 here. I might pass on that. Tiebreakers. That's how we kind of sift through here. So right now I'm looking at um, maybe a Favors and a Bagley. Unless I can get down here to a Kenrick Williams. Kenrick Williams, Bagley. Kenrick Williams, Favors. Something like that is probably what's going to wind up in my lineup tonight. Center spot, Jokic, Gobert, Brooke Lopez, Boogie, Will Cauley-Stein, and then some almost misses. Some almost make the list. Not too per, super deep for, for the usual. Center's usually pretty deep. This one's not too deep tonight. Looking at the value, the value's way down here. In your Pau Gasol, if you trust his 22 minutes, Definitely a drop score candidate, but are you going to pass up a, jo a Jokic over that when you've got drop score value somewhere else in your lineup and you've got a little bit of power forward value? I don't know. Point guard value? I don't know. Don't know how wise it is to, you know, forego a Jokic or, a, you know, e even Cousins. If Cousins is not, you know, punching the value meter, Kali Stein is, though. Collie Stein at 5,900, I'd probably go there over a Plumley, or a, you know, Podal or Pedal or whatever the hell you pronounce that name. These guys are definite drop score candidates. You would be using them as a last resort if you can find better drop score candidates, guys with upside into the 30s instead of just into the 20s. I would do those over these guys. These guys are kind of like drop turds, you know, turd traps and drop turds. I just, I, I, I don't, I ain't feeling it. Uh, Will Collie Stein hits the value. Uh, Boogie hits the hot. And Jokic hits the value, believe it or not, is one of the top values at center on the slate. I'd be paying up to get him. The question is going to be, would I pay up to get him? Would I pay up to get uh, James Harden or Giannis? That's where it feels like I'm going to be struggling tonight. And if I can get a second or a third drop candidate in there to get two of the three in my lineup, the Jokic, Harden, or uh, Giannis, that's what I might end up doing because you're buying a lot of raw points with a solid floor in Giannis. You've got yourself ceiling in Harden and ceiling in – uh, in Jokic, and quite honestly, you've got uh, a good floor in Harden as well. These guys are studs for a reason. You want as many of them in your lineup as you can feasibly put in there without having to sacrifice way too much. That's essentially your player pool for tonight. I mean, I don't know how many names it is. It looks like about 30 names, but quite honestly, you can cross off a lot of those turd traps, and you can cross off a lot of the bull oni. You know, just the, the – well, that was a cross between bull and bullshit and bull oni. So it came out, you know, bull oni. Coin my own phrase there. But I'd be watching Giannis for the hot meter. I'd be looking at running uh, Chris Middle, Chris Dunn uh, along with Levine since they're both hitting the value and both hitting the and one matchup sheet. I'd be looking at running a little bit of a little ping pong there. That might be one of the situations where I'd stack a little bit or correlate a little bit in NBA. I think that's a fine play. And I'm really just struggling between, you know, Harden, Giannis, and Jokic, and those are the big dogs. And if I don't go Jokic, I go down to Will Cauley Stein, probably call it a day. Those are probably my two options. If I'm looking at uh, power forward, I'm definitely looking at Bagley. I'll be digging into uh, Favors and uh, Kendrick Williams. Small forward's pretty wide open. 
anything from a Rudy Gay to a Barton to a Bertrands to a Kevin Durant or a Giannis, whatever. Pretty wide open. Shooting guard, if Eric Gordon's healthy, that'd be interesting. Uh, but looks like uh, Levine, Levine, whatever's to play, but a Heald's in play. Of course, James Harden's in play. And a, a point guard, I'd love to get me some Kemba Walker tonight. Don't know if I'm going to. May run the ping pong with, uh, not the ping pong, but may run the correlation play with uh, Chris Dunn and, uh, and Levine. Jamal Murray looks like he's in a solid spot. Don't know that I'm going to go back to Frank Jackson. Don't know that I can quite pull that trigger unless I need that second drop score. If I get that second drop score and then come down to a, you know, Kenrick Williams or, you know, maybe maybe one of those mid four kind of guys, that would be okay as well. Those would be the guys I'd be looking at. That rounds out the slate for you a little bit. I would go into, uh, honestly, I would go into dfsarmy.com, hook up with some of the coaches, ask them a bunch of questions about who's who, you know, and, and what where, where they're slanting. You got a, you got an idea for me, go do digging some research and find out who you're leaning on yourself, who you think is, you're always, when you're building lineups, going to need to car, to parlay in uh, your studs, but also knowing where your value is and where that's going to unlock the studs. I would encourage you to go looking for value first, spot it, Spot it preferably at each position, but also kind of know which position you're going to take your value at and reach for it first because you can, you maybe can't afford to sacrifice a center, maybe can't afford to sacrifice at small forward, whatever it is. So you're going to have to take your value elsewhere. So know where it is and make sure it's quality value. And then from there, start building your lineups. Pop that value in there first. See where it allows you to buy up your salary elsewhere where it allows you to start buying your raw points or your upside in great matchups like a Harden tonight and see if you can't get there and see if you can't get a lineup that you really, really like. And that's what we help you do inside DFSArmy.com. All day long, we'll be sitting in there updating the news pages, the coaching pages. We're dropping articles like mad today. So I'd love to see you on the inside asking questions. i got to go run off and answer some questions that I've had asked while we're doing the video here uh, today. So hit the like and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. Throw me a comment. I'll probably answer you back. And here's how this thing works. You comment. I answer back. Then the ball's in your court. If you answer again, guess what? We got a little dialogue going. I don't mind keeping up with the dialogue. I get the alerts on my phone. You know, I love the compliments. I love you guys giving me the positive feedback that the video, you know, helps and works for you. But ultimately, I'd love to see you on the inside getting the real coaching too. So jump on in with the link in the comments section, dfsarmy.com. Use that coupon code CHOP. And you know what? I guess I'll see you when I see you. Probably tomorrow. Take care, guys.